Hi there, now I'm gonna share with you flows from my Flamingo Bosu class. This flow right here is actually called Flamingo Bosu and I have um, my Bosu ball. One blue spring and my foot bar on the middle shelf. For my shorter clients, sometimes I'm bringing the foot bar up to the higher shelf. It all depends on their height. Now I'm gonna take my Bosu and I'm gonna bring it around onto the floor. It's I'm gonna be on the other side, but it's gonna be underneath the reformer like this. But once I get it over there, you will not be able to see it. So, I'm going to place this over here. It goes all the way under as far as possible and all the way to the top. So it's wedged under that right corner. So I like to refer to the BOSU sticker. The sticker on top of the BOSU is where you're going to aim for your foot. Started. I'm going to bring my right foot on that sticker and I'm going to stand facing the camera or the wall behind the camera and I'm going to bring my left foot onto the reformer against the shoulder rest closest to me. All of my weight is in my right foot, the BOSU foot. So I'm gonna start with a speed skater lunge. I'm gonna inhale, lunge down, exhale, bringing it back. So typically, I do 10 of these, and I'm really careful to not let my knee go past my toes as I lunge down. All of my weight is in the BOSU foot. I inhale down, exhale, lift from the pelvic floor to come up. We'll do three more for three, two and last right here and I'm going to bring it in and out for five typically I do ten four I'm lifting from here three two and one it's a lot of work in that wrong way now I'm going to bring my hands here and I'm going to ride the carriage out and then I'm going to press into the left heel as I come in trying to balance did you see me wobble it's pretty tough I take it down and then I press into that left heel to bring it back up. Now if I want to add some choreography, as I go down I circle my hands around and then back up. And I do a class just like this without the BOSU. Inhale down, exhale bringing it back up. The BOSU adds a whole nother level of balance to this class. Again, your clients do not have to use the BOSU to get a good workout. It's definitely taking it up a notch. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to hold it here, reach the other hand to meet that right hand, and press it front for five, four, three, two, whew, and one. I'm bringing it back in. Now I'm going to bring my hands onto the reformer here in this corner. And my left foot is going to come on the BOSU slightly behind my right foot. I ride the carriage out to here. Now I'm going to press into my left hand as I close, scooping those abdominals. And again, I inhale, ride it out. Now if I want to go down into a little bit of a cobra, that works too, but only if your low back can tolerate it. And again and back in and I would typically do six. Now if you want to add to it from here, I'm going to bring all of my weight in my left hand. I'm going to open and guess what? I'm going to thread the needle as I come under for four, Woo. three, I'm really struggling to keep my balance with this ball, Woo. two, really focusing on the heel of my left hand. That's my focal point and back in good now i'm going to find my foot bar here my right foot is going to be on the sticker but now my toes are facing that way my left foot is here finding your balance we're just going to practice a couple of lunges practice the lunge and once you have it you take the hands off the foot bar maybe you just leave your hands here now, if the client feels comfortable, we add some choreography. You reach, bring it back. Let's do four more. For four, lifting from that pelvic floor. We've got three, two. Last one, now I'm gonna hold it right here and I'm gonna pulse for five, four, three, two and one. Now I'm going to locate my foot bar again. I'm going to come down and here's where the flamingo comes in. First I'm going to layer on the challenge. I'm just going to lift. I'm going to keep my right leg long and just lift it off of the ball, focusing on lifting the hips 
to close the carriage. <sighs> Finding that Pilates scoop to lift the hips. <sighs> now, can I bring my left foot all the way under my hip, or all the way under my shoulder? So I go down, I'm gonna bring the foot all the way under my shoulders. Now let's layer on the flamingo. Flamingo for three. Exhale, lift for two. Nose to your knee, and one. Now I'm gonna cross my knee over to my left hand for three, and down, two, whoo, and one. Now I'm gonna kick it to the back for the arabesque. Kick, land, kick, land. One more. Whoo, all right. Now we're gonna build on that. I'm gonna pick up the BOSU and I'm gonna bring it on the reformer here. All right. Now I'm gonna come back on top. My left foot now is gonna be on the front of the ball on the right side. I'm going to start on the floor. My right foot is on the floor. I want to be careful to keep my right foot as close to the foot of the reformer as possible because if I go back too far, a taller person like myself will bottom out in the back. So I want to stay as close to the foot bar as possible while doing this. So I'm going to do that progressive flamingo again. I'm going to start with just the leg dangle and back down. The fun thing is I can get more of a Pilates scoop because I can lift higher and I'm really trying to pull that left foot under. Let's practice one more. Exhale. Now I'm going to layer on the flamingo right here for three. Nose to your knee. Hollow out those abs for two Woo. and one. Now watch the we're going to do a progressive kick. I'm going to flamingo, kick, flamingo, land. Flamingo, kick, flamingo, land. Pass through flamingo before you kick. Good. Drawing the carriage all the way in as I kick. All the way in. Left leg is definitely getting some work. One more. And now I'm going to bring both feet onto the front of the ball here. And I'm going to start with some simple pikes. Inhale for nothing. Exhale, scoop those abdominals to draw it under. And again, inhale, open. Exhale, drawing it under. One more here. Exhale, drawing it under. Now I'm going to reach for my right foot. I'm going to tap the floor and flamingo. Tap the floor, flamingo. One more. Now we're going to do the progressive flamingo kick. Flamingo, kick, flamingo, floor. Flamingo, kick, flamingo, floor. One more. It's important to pass through flamingo, otherwise you might hit your foot on the carriage. Now from here I'm going to turn my toes towards the left. So I'm working the right side still. I'm going to inhale down, press into my right hand, cinch the waist to bring it home for three. Press into that right hand, bring it in for two. Whew. Exhale, lift that waist off of the floor. Now let's go into thread the needle again. Hands are here. Inhale, open, keeping my left shoulder over my right hand. I'm going to cinch the waist, recruit those obliques, to reach through. Inhale, open, hold, exhale, bring it through. My shoulder is staying over my hand. I've got just one more. Good, and then I step off of the BOSU. This one, you can't work backwards very well, so I start all the way over from the beginning. I'm gonna bring the BOSU onto the floor, comes all the way under and as far to the front as possible. And I will start with my left foot on the BOSU, right foot here, and I take it all the way